the five things men should know how to do or know of or want to do with Ladies Wellness Week. That's Magnus in Cali. I'm in Jersey via satellite, Zoom, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, hey, we're not we're not giving any advice legally or healthcare wise. Always check with your professionals. Okay, Magnus, I was talking to somebody or I was thinking to myself, what would what would be five things that a young boy should be taught? You know, like to become a man. I mean, there's more than five. You can make you could say 15, 20, 30, 40, but I guess five basic ones. So yeah. I'll start it off and then you tell me, you know, if you have that or whatever you think. Okay, so first one I would say, and this first one is uh, in no particular order, but this first one is not exactly maybe even that uh, useful anymore because a lot of cars don't even have the spare tire. But uh, how to fix a flat tire or change a tire. Yep. Increasingly with newer cars, that's becoming less and less a thing because um, cars have run flat tires or they have a special like goo that you can shoot into the tires. You don't have to replace the tire. However, most cars still, I think you should know how to change a tire. And I think that is a dog whistle for, I think every man should know how to repair, not be, I'm not saying you have to be handy, but, but have general knowledge of how to use a screwdriver, how to use a hammer, how to do basic shit and, and changing a tire would be that. So I think yeah. the changing tire thing is a symbol for can you do little things around the house? Like, you know, change the light bulb, mow the lawn, paint the wall, you know, shit like that. Yeah. that all right. What would be your uh, one? Uh, yes. Yes. Continue on that one. So, so here's a, f a fun fact. So in Sweden, we, we're by law forced to oh. change tires when we're going into the vin winter season. And then of course, spring, summertime. So we have, we need to have two pairs of, uh, or, two pairs we're talking about two sets of tires winter tires and summer tires right, right, right. so so luckily like my, my mom brought me so i started doing that at like an, uh, an early early age so but but it's so funny we're like her and i was like the mini uh, f1 team like uh -huh. do, 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 do. we had we had everything organized so at the end we we were so fast we we're like we knew exactly we didn't we didn't even have to to speak to one another because yeah, we're yeah. like we, we knew exactly what we were doing and it's kind of funny so so tires yeah that's definitely something like i've been forced or like yeah. experience wise know yeah. how to do luckily so what would be so, one that you you would tell uh, so you know so so here's here's something like uh one thing that I noticed, like especially like in the states, and also depending on where you go, and like if you go in a little bit for the for the the southern border when it's what's warmer, and and that is a dress for the occasion. So I I see a lot of people they do not know how to dress yeah. accordingly, right? You yeah. you you cannot show up a funeral in in like swim trunks and flip flops. Magnus, I DJ weddings for a living, and e e exactly. Magnus it is always a man that never it's never the woman it's always one dude that comes yep. to the wedding or in that or funeral wearing fucking shorts and flip flops or jeans and it's like really dude this is a fucking wedding man like come on yeah but to your point all right so yeah no so so, so it's 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 just something that that i noticed it's and and it's something that i know is a little bit more like yeah. compared to like back home but of, of course we have different cultures and and different standards and things like that. But you know, you you should you should be able to dress nice as yeah. as a guy too. You you like you you need to like I I mean I'm the first. I love shorts, right? But I, you also need to kind of pick up your game when when yeah, you needed yeah, to, right? 100%. I think every man should have at least one you know black suit in their uh yeah. closet for weddings funerals parties you know a, a suit that's a dual suit yeah uh, but my, a lot of guys don't okay so my next one would be bank account uh a man should know how to balance their checkbook yeah um, i think that and again that is a symbol for you know know how to budget money basically yeah uh you know just because you have a credit card a credit card is not cashed just because the credit card has a limit of fifty thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars it doesn't mean you have an extra 10,000 in income. So, you know, knowing how to balance your budget of your own life, you know? Yep. So, uh, yeah. Okay. What would be your next one? Your 100%. I got the budget as well, because I think it's, it's you, there's a couple of things that you need to do, go through. And we will, we will go through, we were talking about it before. I mean, like having your finance finances under control is definitely something that, that, and I think that like all adults should be, be doing it. That is basically, kind of one of the the things that you need to do to be actually be accepted into adult life 
yeah. right? You you know how to budget. It's it's you can't spend money to the right and left. You mean you should have a savings account, so on and so forth, yeah. to to have it for for a, a, a rainy day, so to say. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Uh, so that was your second one, I guess. Yep. Too? Okay. So the third one for me would be cook. A man should know how to cook. I'm not saying you have to be a chef, but like you know, we all know guys out there that if it ain't for their wife or their partner, they can't fucking even put together two pieces of toast. It's like you got to learn how to cook for yourself. Not only mm -hmm. obviously to live, but to be healthy. You know, you can't be going to fast food all the time, you know, and ordering out. So how to cook, what would be your third one? So I agree on that, like going for, but I didn't put that on my list. And my next thing is, and this is a combination one, is CPR and first aid. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Very good. So I, I think, uh, like, I think all people should know how to do CPR and first aid. So it's just, not just men, but let's go. Like a, a guy should definitely do it. And then like, a good thing to have in your car is to have a first aid kit, right? right or have right. several first kits that you have it around the house. You have it in your, if you like a, a bug out bag or whatever you want to call it, or like it, it's good to have, like, and it's good to know how to do it. And CPR, I talked, we talked about this before, it saves lives. So yeah. you can be, you can be a hero in, in someone's life and, and save someone by yeah. actually going to a course and, and, and also like, Go back, repeat it once in a while so you know, and or read up on it so you know what to do. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah, my next one would be, um, I think every man at some point in their life um, should take some type of martial art, whether it's boxing or karate or jujitsu, uh, not only to learn to know a little bit of how to defend yourself, but also to instill some discipline in a person. So yep. that would be my next one. What about you? What's your next so, one? So mine, let's spin off on that. I said staying fit. Yeah. So 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 it's it's similar. And, and and like actually doing a, a self defense or whatnot is is also good for sure. It's good to know. I mean, you don't have to know how to attack people, but at least you know how to to defend yourself, right? Uh, uh, but but staying thick. Coming back, we're talking about like the budget. Staying fit shows a couple of things. It shows that you have self discipline, that you take care of yourself, health health in your health, and usually like your mental health as well too. You know because they go hand in hand. We talked about this before, and it's also a lot what we're talking about on this podcast or at what YouTube channel or whatever we want to call it, right? Yeah. And and I think that 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 shows you a, a little bit of character and things like that. Again, I'm not talking about you do not have to be a bodybuilder. You do not right. have to look like a a, a pro athlete or anything right. like that. But just you know, like being able to move around and the same right. thing, like so, you, so you're able to do things like you know, hanging a a, a, a picture or or doing things or carrying and yeah. uh, something or help help people out. You know, if someone is in need, that you're at least able to pull someone out. You know, yeah. uh, we're, we're we're talking about somewhat normal weight, right? Yeah. Well, it's so so just those things. You know, I mean, it's 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 good for you to 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 stay healthy and fit. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. My last one would be. Uh, having some type of trade school or college, so yep. have, you know, have something that is a is is a marketable uh, thing that you know that you can make a living on. So whether you're a yep. plumber or an electrician or a lawyer or a doctor or you know something that or pilot skill set, yeah, some skill kind set, of, yep, right. Not not oh, I majored in philosophy. You're gonna be you're not gonna make any money with that. Like something that right, you can make a living on. You know, so a uh, skill set, whether it be trade school or some kind of university or training. So that what would be your last one? Sh should I be offended because I'm actually a PhD philosophy doctor? So no, you're not. I'm just I'm just messing with you. No, uh, eh, no that, that's a, that's a good one. No, I like that a lot. It's yeah. it's it's actually good. Like like a uh, skill set that can can earn you an income, and it's does. And then the thing is, it does not have to be your main gig either. It, right. it could it could be a side hustle. It could be it, it could be something that is dormant that you just have in your your back pocket. If if needed, you can pull that out. Oh, like bartending or or like whatever it is. Right. Hundred uh, percent. Okay, my fifth one, and this might also offend people nowadays. It's actually uh, reading, reading books. Yes, reading is power. So, yeah, because a, a couple of things with, with reading. Reading is a, a an excellent way of actually uh, learning new things, uh, actually absorbing information and and knowledge. Uh, it it also makes you like it 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 works. It's good for your 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 brain health. Uh, I think it's also good, like, like physically, because you're 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 thinking and doing things too. Uh, 
we can just uh, discuss if you need to read a book or you can you can actually listen to a book i think both things are good and you should probably do both um but reading books it's it is important because also it, it shows you that like one of the best thing to to get to know someone do you know what that is uh, i would imagine find out what they're reading yeah look at their bookshelf you know so it's funny because i'm on the dating scene now yeah and i will always ask women uh, so what are you reading lately? Now, if they say I'm reading nothing, I, that's not a deal breaker. But in my mind, I'm like, uh, that's not good. And you can't tell me you're busy because I own three businesses. So yeah. uh, but if they say they're reading something, then yeah. right, I can kind of that that gives me a, a little bit of a peek into who they are, what, what yeah. they like. So I ask what kind of genre. It's kind of like saying what kind of music do you like? Yeah. It doesn't explain everything, but it gives you a little bit of a peek into their you know, people's psyches and what they what they're about. So, yeah, yeah, that's a good and, and And also, I think that that really reading is something you like since i'm working in 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 education right now i see that it's definitely something uh, uh the younger generations are starting to to uh kind of miss they, they don't yeah. know how to read they don't like reading they don't understand why reading it's it's hard yes yeah. it is hard everything is hard to start out with but once you kind of get into it you got it yeah. yeah and and it's something that is so easy to keep up with too and you can like such an easy way to actually taking someone that might have a ton of experience, just take it out, plug it in your head, yep. and you figure it out. That's okay. I did not have to spend uh, five years of figuring this out. I could just yep. read a book. Okay, this is actually like applicable and works in my setting. Yeah, yeah, you're hundred percent right. So now, honorable mention, I had down how to do laundry. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And how to use a prophylactic. This is a family friendly show. So, but you know, how to use birth control. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a big one. That's a, that's something that I think a lot of people don't use because they feel intimidated by, like, you know, and even though it's, it is very simple, but to learn how to use uh, birth control, whether it be yeah. pills, medicine, uh, you know, condom use, et cetera, I think that's incumbent upon people to learn. And I know it might be controversial. But uh, I, yeah, I think people should learn that in their early teens. Uh, I'm not advocating having premarital sex, but and we had this talk already, Magnus, you and I. Yeah, but yeah. It's like a seatbelt. Just because I'm wearing my seatbelt is not saying that I'm going to be drag racing. And just because you're learning about a contracep contraception does not mean that you're going to go out and hoe around. So it's just you know something to know. Anyways, do you have any honorable mentions? Yeah. So so remember, uh, I I got a. a military background as well and that is like like basic survival skills if you happen in like an emergency like nowhere to kind of find water yes uh, know where how to build a fire right and and keep dry and and warm in certain situation or cool yes. Yes. Uh, and and hydrated in yeah. other so you know, so yeah no i was gonna say you know to your point i was talking to somebody and she said to me oh you know like um my son doesn't know how to fish and my son doesn't know how to swim. And I was like, well, those are pretty like core things you should know. And, and yeah. that's the point, like not that you have to be the best fisherman on earth, but I think, yeah, I think to survival, right? Know yeah. how to swim, no CPR, know how to uh, fish. I mean, these are things that are, you can learn for free really. Uh, so there's no excuse, but anyways, yeah, good, good point. Yeah. yeah. No. I mean, and I get like, there's there's hundreds and hundreds of other skills that we can bring up oh, too, yeah. you know. And and again, like we 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 want to hear it. I want to hear both from from men and 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 women. Like women, what do you think a, a man should be able to do? Right? Oh boy. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it's just fun. I mean, we want to we want like again, we want to interact and in, in here. And it's like if if we get a lot of if we get a, a lot of 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 answers, like that's that's definitely another show that we can do, and it's probably going to be fun because their their list is going to be completely different from what we just brought up. Oh, 100 percent, dude. Well, that's all I got to say, man. Is anything else before we wrap this up? No, guys. Uh, uh, a little bit. Like I I've been talking to some friends and things like that. The 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 weather has been extreme at certain places like down in san diego we were actually having floods in the middle of downtown and things like that i just want you guys be careful and 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 stay prepared right it it it's a bit a bit nuts but have you know some canned food at home yes. have some water around things like that and 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 be able to maybe like if you have a fireplace you're able to have an open fire and things like that and and other warm stuff and and because it's it's bad in certain places. I mean, like back home in Sweden, we had under uh, zero degrees. So it's it's been like really, right. really cold. And it's been right. going back and forth and icy and things like that. So I just want people to be safe out in traffic and things like that. So yeah. 
Yeah, well said, Magnus. All right, everybody, thank you as always. Don't forget to check back in. A lot of great content. I'm signing us off. Five, thank four, you, Anthony. Three, two, one.